this first video is going to demonstrate how we construct a frequency distribution by hand. This is the on the board exercise from our workbook. So let's start with just a description of what we have here. What we have here is we have uh, ID number and income and mother's education level. And these are data from the maternity study that I talked briefly about. <coughs> So ID number is just a, 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 an arbitrary number assigned to the personages in the study. This is their income level, and this is their the mother's education. So th these numbers are, are not really data. They're just like names. They're nominal level measurement. But what we might want to summarize are these income levels. So that just seems like a big series of numbers there. We might want to summarize those. A frequency distribution summarizes them by just categorizing the different levels that we have, the different uh, numbers that we have, and then counting the frequency, counting how many we have. We categorize and count and categorize and count when we are making a frequency distribution. So let's categorize these. We have some 8, 9, 8, 9, 10, 5, 8, 9, 10. Looks like we have the smallest number that we have is 5. And the largest number we have is 11. And we have some numbers in between 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So that is our category, which we call income in this case. It's a coded variable. And we're going to count the frequency with which we see 5. So let's see, we got 1. Two, we have two fives. Let's count sixes. I see one six, just one. Let's count sevens. One, two, three, four sevens. How many eights do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, we have 15, 8, how many 9's do we have, 1, 2, 3, how many 10's do we have, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we have 1, 11, so that is our frequency distribution right there, hopefully if we total these up to 3, 7, 22, 25, 29, 30, we have the total number of observations that we have to in our uh, uh, data set here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Hey, 30. Oh, and 30. Right, so that is correct. Okay, from here we might be able to, we might want to construct a little graph of the frequencies. So let's go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Then we got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we can plot the frequencies. We have two fives. We have one six. We have four sevens. We have 15 eights, we have three nines, we have four tens, and we have one eleven. And if we connect these points, then what we have is we have something that approximates a frequency distribution. And a summary of these data, we've taken this and we've turned it into that. Beautiful. Look at that. That's, that's just perfect.